Hey guys, so I'll be doing a review for the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. <laughs> That's a long word, but before I do that, um, it's about New Year's. It's December 31st that I'm going to upload this, probably at night though. And for Christmas, I got my Galaxy S2, even though it's there's coming out with an S3, which... I'm not really up to date with all that stuff, and I got it a sticker, so my phone looks like it has a monocle. Yeah. Blah blah blah. And I don't know what's wrong with my family, but for Christmas I was like, oh wow, N Y N C whatever, and I was like, did they get me a watch or something? Oh, so fancy. No, it's bracelets from Hot Topic. Swag doesn't cure ugly. Ermagerd. Zombies, why you no die? Really? Oh, and then I open up the next gift and I'm like, oh, what could this be? Hot Topic gift card. Like, where are you getting this? Like, my mall doesn't even have Hot Topic, so. Really? Does everyone just expect me to shop at Hot Topic right now? I don't know. I guess so. Like, I shop at H&M, really? <clears throat> Sorry if I'm sounding sick, but anyways. So, I went to Sephora, and I bought the Naked Urban Decay Weightless Liquid Foundation, and I got it in the shade 6. Mm. I also tried on the shade 7, which they ran out of 7, so I got 6, but 6 and 7 pretty much look the same on me. Um, I really like the packaging, like it's like a kind of like metallic bronze on the outside, and then there's a purple floral print on the inside. And whatever. So, this is what it looks like, just the tube. Um, it's 30 millimeters. Um, just whatever. I don't know what any of this is made of. I've only used it like a little bit. So you can't really tell. I've only used this like four times and I can't really see the difference of whether it's been used or not. But you have to shake. I don't shake it. So <laughs> whatever. And so I'll just do like half of my face. Why does everyone have to be so sick? I'll be using a stripping brush from Lancome number 7. So, I wanted, um, like, a light to medium foundation. And I was so scared when I bought this because it looks like full coverage. And so I was like, you know, I just want it for like everyday use. And after she put it on me, she's like, you look flawless. And I'm like, oh God, it's full coverage. But it's like medium to full coverage. So... And weirdly, it looks natural, so I don't really mind using it for everyday use. I even used it on some dates, and it doesn't look cakey or oily, and it looks fairly natural. I mean, my skin tone hasn't been one color for a while now, but it's like whatever. So that's half my face, so this is foundation and this is no foundation. So I really like it because I get redness, sometimes my cheeks just get red. Um, it blends in fairly natural looking. Mm, it's not oily or cakey and 
I don't really see the necessary to use powder after using this. So if you use powder, you know, you just look more flawless and more whatever. But I think just for a natural look, it's fine. Even if it is like light, light if you're using paraben free. It's paraben free. I know some people have been raging about needing paraben free. I don't know if Urban Decay is, um, gosh, uh, uh, non-animal torturing word that I can't remember right now. <laughs> it feels like wearing nothing at all, naked skin transforms, literally bright, beautiful skin, weightless, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know much more of this. It's cruelty free. It is cruelty free. Thank you, Box, for telling me this is cruelty free. Animal torture, really. Anyway, so, paraben and cruelty free. Um, I would definitely recommend this. Um, I was gonna get, um, I walked into Sephora and I was going to get the Kat Von D Locket liquid foundation and it's about 30 millimeters too. It was $38 and I was liking the color because I usually get like a color a little lighter than my natural skin tone and it blends in well but who's opening up the garage? Whatever I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways this was about with tax it was $48 so no forty six sixty. it was forty six sixty. And, I don't know, I was like, ah, a little more expensive. Didn't expect that, but it was like, whatever. I mean, you can go to CDS and get your own, like, little foundation for cheaper, but, I don't know, I spent, I felt like, I felt the need to splurge on foundation. Because, if you don't, then, if you get some cheap product and you break out and whatever, and I know that I used to use Rimmel clean finish foundation there's a little too if you look at like my older videos you'd see it but yeah so I like it I gave it five stars out of five so yeah especially for guys I mean I like it so pretty sure it's good for girls too so <laughs> yeah. bye